Hello everybody, how are we all? So today I am gonna to show you six really, really scrummy Christmas waxes. Um, I've got a very merry cranberry to talk to you about. Christmas Cottage, one of my favorites, all time, all time favorites. Uh, apple and cinnamon sticks. I've got silver bells. I've got tinselberry. Oh, love that one and I've got cranberry and tinsel so let me just show you so if you have got if you have got a catalogue from me um not everything's catalogued by the way I have a website as well but if you have a catalogue from me uh towards the back there's a whole list of all the different wax bars that are in current stock um and actually to be fair um pretty much um most of our really really good christmas um top selling wax bars are in the current catalogue uh, because it's seasonal um, but you will find if you go into my clearance section um you will find there's some equally lovely um seasonal wax bars in there at a reduced price but if you buy six okay um you are actually only paying for five so if i put that another way if you buy five you get the six free. So um, buying from the current season catalog is a perfect way to get your hands on basically a free bar of wax. So let's get cracking. Um, we're gonna start with my favorite. Now, when I first smelt this, which was years and years and years ago, to me, this smelt like Christmas in a wax bar. Everything that Christmas encompasses, that's what this smelt like. So let me just open up and let me have a little sniff and I will try my hardest to explain it to you. So, oh, let me just pull back the little. <sighs> it's just so lovely. Okay, so it's, it, it's got, it's got real wintry, Christmassy spices. But it's also quite got a kick of fruit to it. Um, it it smells like fir trees mixed with Christmas like cake and Christmas food and just like oranges. I mean, it just it literally smells of everything that if you think of Christmas, this smells of Christmas. Um, let me just see if there's an actual explanation in the catalogue because that might be a little bit clearer than me going it just smells like christmas <laughs> so it's got um valencia oranges so that's the oranges ah, just, my nose didn't let me down uh raspberry clove and spices um it's if you're not a clove lover don't worry it doesn't it's not a really strong note it's very under underneath all the layers of fragrance it's, it's what provides the anchor the warmth to the fragrance so if you haven't tried this please get it because i can guarantee you will not be disappointed so that one is christmas cottage okay let's do my other favorite now this also <laughs> this also screams christmas okay but in a lighter note this is called Very Merry Cranberry. Again, one of my favourites. If I'm having, to be honest, if I'm having anything on at Christmas, it will be Christmas Cottage or Very Merry Cranberry. I mean, there will be other waxes that I will warm, but like predominantly, this is what, what Christmas is all about. These two scents are to me what Christmas is all about. Okay. Again. This is kind of like a cooler fragrance. So where I would say this is kind of like a warm fragrance, this is a cooler, very merry cranberry, cooler. It's crisper, it's more fruity, it's lighter, um, but it's equally Christmassy. And again, it's, it's, one, it's one you need to smell. <laughs> um, I, I've always had very merry cranberry and Christmas cottage warming in my home over Christmas always. Uh, let me find what the description is. So winter berries, so that's your fruit. Um, 
against a backdrop of snow covered cedar. So that's your fresh, light, kind of Christmas tree freshness that kicks in. Um, creating a lovely winter landscape. Yeah, so it's very, very wintry and Christmassy. Now, very merry cranberry. If, if I was gonna choose between the two for Christmas day, it would be Christmas cottage because that just completely envelops everything you could think of for Christmas. But very merry cranberry, I would start warming all the way through December. So this would light, is lighter and would kind of take me through to Christmas cottage. I could all change when I, when I smell these. <laughs> so we're gonna go next with silver bells. Now I remember, I remember um, again, first time I warmed silver bells and I thought, oh, this reminds me of candy cane. Um, so you know the red and white candy cane sweets that you get at Christmas and you see them in like decorations and stuff. This kind of has a nod to that because it's a cool fragrance. So it's cool, it's almost minty, but it's not so minty that you'd go, oh wow, that's really minty. It's it's like a, a minty, vanilla-y, icy, cold type of fragrance. So um, again, you could have, <laughs> getting you into a bit of mixology here, you could have very merry cranberry on in your hallway with silver bells on in your kitchen and then the two fragrances when they meet would just be like sweeties candy canes it would just be so scrummy um a really good way to kind of transport people when they come to your home or even transport yourself through the different emotions through the different feelings of experiencing different waxes and and, and sort of seeing where that scent takes you if that makes sense so let's have a little sniff of this one it just never disappoints. It just never disappoints. Do you know what I think I would actually do this year? It's really nice. I think, like I just said, you could have one on in your hallway, one in your kitchen. You could have half a cube of Very Merry Cranberry and mix it with half a cube of Silver Bells. If you try it, let me know. Okay, now we're gonna go on to um, Apple and cinnamon sticks. Now, again, this is this is one of these bars that if you were to smell this at Christmas time, if you were to go to a Christmas market on all the different kind of cinnamony kind of food stalls that are there, all hot pastries and lush foods, um, this wouldn't, you know, this this wouldn't kind of be a surprise if you smelled something like this because it would kind of be expected. Um, so it's absolutely festive. But it's also, for those of you that are into Halloween and into autumn um, and celebrating like autumn and harvest and, and the change of the seasons and all that kind of stuff, this is also perfectly placed for autumn. So it's a kind of what I would call um, a wax that can blend from an autumn to a very festive fragrance. It's, it's, it can go from one to the other very, very simply. Um, it's really, really popular. It's one of the most popular bars that I sell all the way through the autumn and over Christmas. Okay, so this is kind of what I would call a warm scent. It's foody. Obviously, apple and cinnamon sticks is going to be foody. So it's foody. It smells like bakeries it smells like all those christmas pastries and all those autumnal pastries are all being put together made and cooked and the whole place is just smells glorious um that is apple and cinnamon sticks okay let me just find it in here and i'll tell you what it says so you've got apple peel spiced white pumpkin do you know what i've never eaten pumpkin obviously i've eaten squash but I've never eaten pumpkin, and a touch of oak. And the oak is the woodiness. Oak is the base note. Oak is what gives it its depth, its warmth. So that's definitely one to try. And it's definitely one that you can start now and warm all the way up to Christmas Eve. Perfect. Okay. Now these two are lovely. Um, we have got tinsel berry tinsel berry christmas 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 and we've got cranberry and tinsel cranberry and tinsel um i remember smelling it and falling in love so it would go for me 
Christmas Cottage, followed by Very Merry Cranberry, followed by Cranberry and Tinsel, followed by Silver Bells, <laughs> followed by Tinselberry, followed by Apple and Cinnamon Sticks. So that would be my order of preference. So but let's do Cranberry and Tinsel. Let me have a little reminder. I remember, oh, I can't get the thing off. I remember a few years ago, having a team in America, a scentsy team in America. And I did actually ask, oh, ask one of my girls to send me over some bricks. And I actually got cranberry and tinsel as a brick. Um, oh, and I've still got some upstairs. Oh, it's just lush. It's just lush. How do I describe it? It's Christmas. It's tinsel. It's Christmas trees. It's fir trees. It's spruce. It's it's fresh and deeply fruity so it's fresh and deeply fruity so it's got that kind of zing and zag to it it's like really zingy um, and also got like a real depth of body to it so you're going to get hit with the zingy kind of fruit the cranberry and then you're going to get all the sparkle and fizz and then the warmth come through so oh it's one of my favorite well obviously of course it's one of my favorites <laughs> it is right let me tell you what this one says if i can find it um cranberry and tinsel here we go mold cranberries so that's the warm fruit that's the warm deep fruit because it's been mold okay siberian fir needle there you go there's your fir tree your spruces and cedar wood sparkle and shine so the cedar wood again is the woody and the sparkle and shine is that what i was describing is like that zing that zest to it absolutely in fact it's making my mouth water <laughs> i don't know why but it is okay last we're gonna do tinsel berry so this will be along the same lines to cranberry and tinsel but it will be different okay so let me have a little sniff let me try and describe it to you and then i will read you what it says okay okay so Oh, by the way, just before I explain this one, obviously I'm showing you the catalogue and all the waxes are in here, all the descriptions are in here, but they're also on my website as well. So if you're going, I don't have a catalogue, what's she reading? Um, it's all on my website. So if you go to my website, www.hollingdales.sensi.co.uk, um, and you go to the waxes and you see a wax bar you like the sound of, when you click on it, it will give you the description as well. Okay. Right, so this is like a mixed berry um, and I, I really do mean mixed so it's almost like it's got a summer fruit with an autumn fruit so both seasons of berries so it's not just autumnal it's got that mix to me it's got a mixture of berries okay um, it's got a nod to sparkle and fizz so it's got a little bit of something to it um, and then obviously the tinsel is very much uh how would i explain it like like a party like a christmas party <laughs> with all the fears and all the alcohol and all the decorations and if you were to walk into the room of a christmas party with all the different perfumes and aftershaves all the foods laid out on the buffet it's kind of like that sort of celebratory scent. It's very difficult to explain. Um, let me find it in here. Let's see if I can read it out. And that might make more sense to you. It's really, really nice. Let me just see if I can find it. Dun, dun, dun. Where are you? Where are you? Mm -mm. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Ah, my nose doesn't let me down. So it's strawberry and cranberries. So that's the that's the summer berries and the autumn berries. So it's that that's that mix I was talking to you about. Dripped in cinnamon. So that's like the warmth that comes through. Sweet sugar with a little extra sparkle. So that's the, that's the sparkle. That's the fizz. That's the sweetness. Um, so really, really lovely. So it kind of really, if you're listening to this thinking, oh my gosh, I like them all. You kind of need to do a bit of a, when would I use them? How would I use them? Where would I use them? 
Um, like I say, for me, absolutely, Christmas Cottage numero uno. If you've never tried Scentsy Wax and you're you're here for the first time watching this thinking, right, I want to get a Christmas Wax, Christmas Cottage, 100%. <coughs> then, very merry cranberry. Really, really lovely. Then, cranberry and tinsel. Really, really lovely. Cut through that with silver bells. A little bit of a nod to minty. Fresh, icy. Um, then to apple and cinnamon sticks. And then to tinsel berry. So, all really, really lovely. I mean, you might be looking at this going, okay, I don't want all six. I'm just going to go with three. And if you were saying to me, what three would you recommend? I would go Christmas Cottage, Very Merry Cranberry, Silver Bells, because I think you've got a really good variety there. You've got the Very Merry Cranberry, which is the fresh Christmas scent. You've got Christmas Cottage, which is the deep Christmas scent. And you've got Silver Bells, which is completely different to both, which is very icy, minty, um, and really, really squimmy. So that would be a three pack um, suggestion. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you have, leave me a comment. Let me know which one is your favourite. Have you tried any before? If you have, what did you think? Um, feel free to tag in anybody to the video, um, especially people that you know love wax melts but haven't actually probably tried Sensi. Um, tag them into the video and let them have a little look. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me on my website, so Hollandales .co.uk. there's a contact me button um, or if you pop over to my Facebook page Hollandale's Home Sense um, you can contact me through there as well um, there's loads and loads and loads of gorgeous Christmas products at the moment um, literally you are spoiled for choice so have a little look at the wax bars on my website but also head over to the clearance section on my website as well because there's loads of really, really lovely seasonal wax bars on there that are reduced. So if you're kind of shopping on a budget, check out the clearance section first, then have a little look at the full price waxes. Okay, thank you for watching.